Hello again guys, how's it going? It's Fakeo coming at you with another of a Runeterra video. Today I want to share with you guys Lux and Leona. I actually believe this is a pretty strong uh, deck at the moment and I think it's one I'm going to revisit and maybe do a deck guide on. I'm gonna, probably going to play a bit more of this deck though. We're currently 7 and 4, but most importantly against Lee Sin decks we are 2 and 3. Uh, however, some of these games are so close. I think with a few more tweaks to the deck, maybe we can have a fantastic time against Lee Sin. Because unironically, the interaction with Daybreak and the stunning against Lee Sin's, uh, well, Lee Sin in general, mostly spell shield in general, makes it quite useful. We, we can get rid of the spell shields pretty effectively with Leona decks. I got to this point as I was testing around with Heimerdinger again, and then I realized I'm going to actually cut Heimerdinger. I'm going to play Leona still because Leona feels kind of strong and probably underrepresented at the moment. And then I'm going to move to Demacia. I'm not going to run a full Demacian package, so I'm pretty heavily into Targon. So I'm running Mountain Scryer for the Allegiance. The only cards from Demacia I want to run right now is Lux and Single Combat. I think some of the stonks went down for Remembrance as well as Radiant Guardian. So I figure I'm going to skip that. I'm going to throw in Lux and Single Combat because Single Combat is like a very powerful card with the Daybreak units as you get those bonus stats here and there. But without further ado, we're going to have a few games here I ripped from my stream. I uh, hope you can still enjoy the games. Been a little bit busy watching a bit of the League of Legends World Championship, not going to lie. But yeah, we'll get some more unique gameplay soon. As I said, I think this is a deck I might revisit, do a deck guide on. I think it's going to be really strong. You guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon. Well, I do sometimes find Hush. Hush is a realistic out. I think Hush could have been, you know, oppo a good opportunity to do something in that game. But I think in the end, I should have gone for the line where... I don't play Cosmic Inspiration. That was straight up inting. Yeah, I should have played the multiple five drops, maybe. What about Final Spark? You could spam Final Spark like crazy. Yeah, maybe in a couple of days. We'll look at Karma Lux. Thanks for the dab. At least we're on like a, a decent like attack this time. And he, he did have Zed on curve. He had Zed on curve, which was pretty crazy. I'll see if he commits mana here. If not, I'll pass. So he's going to gem up here. Okay, so I think we have to pass, right? We have to keep passing until we see what he does. I can't believe some lists are not running Deny though. Deny feels kind of insane. I can't play anything. I'm worried about the uh... What about Invoke? I'm worried about the Challenger unit. What about invoking the turn before? The issue is I don't know what he's going to find from Spacey Sketcher. I 
I would assume that he would take either the Challenger unit or he would take Equinox. One of those two. Yeah, I think Challenger units are the, like one of the best ways to deal with this deck, honestly. This is still 100% to play. That was interesting. Where's the Zed and Lee Sin? There it is. All right. It's pretty obvious he's going to open attack, right? Again, he keeps playing around Leona. Let's use the Zenith Blade. Moonglow. Sweet. Is all in the mind. I'm going to play Leona here, and uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to see if I can build a very wide board and just win through pressure. We also popped the spell shield. That's a little hilarious. I didn't even intend for that. I forgot about that. I find it weird that um this pops the spell shield. It's because Solar Flare is a skill card. I know, right? But the I feel like some other skills don't pop the spell shield. So there's there's um the spell shield block skills as well. Am I really that Papega not to have known that? I guess I'm just a Papega. Any skill that can be denied can be negated by it. Okay, I, I hear you. Yeah, this is strange. I was a little bit um, because there is some skill like play can play effects. The play effects can be denied as well, right?
So he's got Lee Sin flipped, right? So what happens if I do this then? If I do this, will it stun the Lee? I pop this, I pop the Bastion and then the next skill. I would assume it does. If I actually had Leona up, right? I don't know. I'm doing it for science. Yeah, it does. Interesting. So Leona might actually be a decent choice for like slowing down Lee Sin. He almost can't swing with Zed either. I get some fantastic blocks into him, unless he has some more combat tricks. The dragon lives. Ooh, that's new. I wasn't sure either, but I'm glad it worked out. All right, he has to be inting now, right? He has to be inting. Like, I just take value blocks for days where possible, right? That has to be throwing. I counted two spell shields. He's played a moon glow. He's played a moon glow. I don't think he's actually played. He's played one bastion. He's used. No, I think he's only used one bastion, right? Fuck it. We just go for it, right? What's the top deck, guys? No top deck, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Of course, he could have another lease. And if he had another lease, he would have played it there, right? Oh, let's start to abuse this guy. I, know these paths well. I have a knack for missing my allegiance today. You can't play it because of my challenger. I guess you're right, because the other the other spells like aren't exactly doing anything. At least I'm top decking single combat or Lux. Sometimes missing the allegiance of Mountain Scryer isn't like that bad. It kind of feels like at the moment in this deck, it feels kind of like missing Yordle Grifter. Uh, we're, we're so winning this game, guys. Like, I, I feel like we're in a fantastic position. <laughs> I can do that too, buddy. But he's drawing cards. It's scary. Should I have blocked the shadow with the 2 1? It was. It was doing anyways. It's a fair meal. It's gonna die, right? I don't think it matters. Oh, I get you. No, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand now. My bad. That's actually. Wasn't. Yeah, I was like kind of tunnel visioned. Yeah, I should have put up the. 
Solari Soldier in front of the Zed. But maybe I just need some board space. I'm trying to be efficient. I don't know. Like, yeah, let's just, let's just dig in. Can we hit the Allegiance? We do. <laughs> let's go. Uh, we have to we have to make sure we don't make any more mistakes though. We have to kind of play a clean game now. My warrior does have overwhelm. There's a way for him to win. There, there's a where there's a will, there's a way. Like he's getting through his deck. He's working it out. Do I want to find more cards from Living Legends? That's the question. I can get rid of Pale Cascade here. I probably want to keep, honestly, Pale Cascade. I wouldn't put it above Lee Sin players. Yeah, either would I, man. Either would I, honestly. Can I still play this? Yeah, I can do this. Go do some housework. Be back when finished. Yeah, no worries, brother. Yeah, I feel like I played the Scourge, right? Scourge Pog? You can potentially stun me. I like Scourge too. I pretty much put my opponent into like Concussive Palm. It's like Concussive Palm or Bust. He might not even be running many Concussive Palms, right? I've been really fucking, I've been really focused on this game. I do apologize, guys. Oh, is that no concussive palm? All right, how, what else can we do here with my mana? Um, probably just meteor shower. Honestly, I don't, I don't think it even matters, man. <laughs> I didn't even get to show it off. Like, it was so over. I was just so worried about making it a misplay. Our deeds will be written in the it's almost 2am here, so I'm heading out. Good luck on the rest of your stream. Catch you on the next one. Yeah, thanks, King Cooper. Thanks for chilling today. How do you do the cool colors for the deck names? Uh, you can Google um, Google Lit Legends of Runeterra sprites and that should teach you everything you need to know. Yeah, S-P-R-I-T-E. I'll be honest, that game was fantastic. I think I might put up those couple of games against a Datoi Hui on YouTube. We'll see. Um, I am on the first action here. Gee, am I supposed to single combat this Herald of the Dragons? 
It's going to start to snowball if I'm not careful. Yeah. Like, if I don't clear it now, he gets to play a 4-drop this turn, possibly, and then a 5-drop, and then I'm in trouble. Even though I'm not getting Daybreak, I think I still have to play this. We have flexible options this turn. It could be either or. Yeah, Leona's fine. I do have Leona's Morning Light. We might have a way to maybe go wide enough on the board and then go morning light for a finisher. I kind of like that line. Oh, extra morning lights. Let's go. So I don't think he can afford to pass here. He's going to have to play something. I've noticed that over the course of Runeterra's, like, you know, growing up, like, the game's starting to turn into, like, this heavily influenced game by passing on turns. Like, high level of play doesn't look like what it used to look like. Like, high level of play was, like, just building the good decks and outplaying your opponent. But now, to truly outplay people, it's like knowing when to pass. Knowing when to pass is honestly one of the most insane things in this right now. I have to pass here. That's what J01 said? In this chat or just previously? I'm gonna straight up slap Morning Light this turn. He said it yesterday? Oh shit, man. I'm a bit outdated. What can I say? We will not Who's J01? And how do we think about the same things? Rank 1 slash 2, 1300. Oh, that guy on the server. Right. Okay. Do we like Mountain Scryer here? Or do we like passing? Here's a rough plan, guys. <laughs> Here's the rough plan. I also played the one that's not Leona's copy. I want to make sure I have Leona in hand still, if need be. That's a pretty strong board. Let us hope that our opponent does not have Hush. Fantastic. What's most important here is I still get the buff. Boo, what's up, Ram? I think he's still dead. Oh, especially if he does this. Let's go. I'm just gonna slap. Oh. Got him. to block everything uh, fantastic guys absolutely brilliant that's totally worth right <laughs> I 
I hope that's worth. Like, look how strong the board is. Imagine if I was still running high Heimerdinger. That'll be a feels bad. God, he has to play something that can survive. I mean, he could potentially play the big boy and then play Judgment. That's a little spooky. Yeah, he could... Bro. True, we just stun him and he's dead. I am going to uh, sunburst this. The sun's splendor Does that mean my units won't be stunned at the round start? Nah, they still are. Dealing the 6th damage with Sunburst, I was hoping to find single combat for a way to deal with Judgment. We still have lots of stuns. So at least I know like if he hushes or plays a unit, he's tapped under Judgment mana, right? So I think we're in a fantastic spot still, yeah. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Looks like he's maybe considering playing Radiant Guardian here. Mobilize. Justice will be served. Now he's uh now he's done. Boom! Let's go. Damn! <laughs> Dude, I knew I knew I wasn't tripping. Dude, last night at 4 a.m. when I was sitting on my phone in bed, I'm like, I've got it, man. I've just worked it out. I know what deck I'll need to start playing. That last game was a little bit feels bad. I did keep a weird hand though, didn't I? I kept like... It almost worked out for us though, to be fair. But yeah, I kept like Behold the Infinite. I kept, what's the name of the card called? I kept Mountain Scryer. Yeah, that was a bit weird, honestly. So we can pass here. By my honor, you must die. Clad in shining sunlight. This pretty much like stops the attack, right? So that's pretty good. Oh, thanks King Cooper. There's the link. The dawn has arrived. Yeah, it looks about right. The sun's splendor revealed. I'm kind of I'm playing a little bit. The eye of twilight sees all. I'm playing a little bit like Recklessly, I think. Maybe playing Leona here was not the f best choice. I find them unworthy. Try me. Is he about to do something weird here, like Concerted Strike Me? Alright. Bastion value. In her radiant blessing. I am 
And Arcanus? He's having a nap. So we might start getting spoilers as soon as Monday. What's the date on that? We can do this. I'm gonna play Lux here. I also get access to Prismatic Barrier, which is kind of relevant at the moment. These woods protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. I fight for the fallen. We're still playing Radiant Guardian, guys. New card, Pog! New card! I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do the uh the little bit of a crazy line here. I'm gonna see if I can stun the entire board. This might be a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna go for Leona's morning light here. And then my opponent's gonna have deny Pog. It won't stun all, yeah, but I'll get a fantastic attack. I will get a fantastic attack. And then he denies it, and I'm sad! Look, guys, I don't always have deny, right? This guy doesn't have judgment, does he? With me. Stand and fight. That felt a little bit inefficient, right? He has to block some stuff here. You shall go no farther. Lux upgrade, we'll see what happens. We'll just wait. We'll just chill for now. Now we can clear the Fiora. How fantastic is that, guys? Oh, Pog! No deny. <laughs> oh, fuck me. It's- wait, do we clear? It's always Fiora, right? Fiora is currently the biggest threat on the field. And since he doesn't have, um, since we assume he doesn't have any removal, we can start to, like, slowly but surely, like, obliterate his board. They are under my protection. What are we thinking here, guys? Are we just probably, I'm thinking about, honestly, just getting rid of Genevieve here. I can also sunburst to stun something. I don't think I'm fully threatened by Bright Seal yet. I'm more threatened by the Genevieve getting value trades here. I'm sorry. Challenger is a big deal, right? We also stun something. So that is fantastic. And we just like block something little here, right? No mercy for heretics. Yeah, this looks fine. Daily. 
We'll just keep taking removal. Maybe it might be more worth to play this next turn, but I'm thinking about playing Leona's Morning Light, honestly. Forcing my opponent to deny this next turn is going to be fantastic for us, because then I can play Falling Comet. Alright, check out the value. Guys, the value. The value. We rise. Wait. Wait, did it? He has no deny. Did it like immediately just pass? Value. <laughs> I think Jinx's missile should cost zero. Yeah, I said that once upon a time, but people thought that that was too broken. Jinx's rocket being at zero mana is actually kind of broken. There's there's like plenty of positions where... There's actually like plenty of positions where that could be really broken. Might have rally be careful? What's that gonna do? He's most of his board's stunned. <laughs> if he rallies there, that's it doesn't feel like he's gonna achieve much. 